In today's video, we're opening a first edition box from 2012. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening. Today we have a Galactic Overlord booster box. This should be a pretty fun one because it used to be that 2012, it was like, that wasn't that long ago. That was a few years ago. It was 12 years ago. It has been longer since Galactic Overlord than it was from Galactic Overlord to LOB, which if you think about that is mind blowing. It's actually an old set now. It's a Zexel set. It's got some cool stuff. It's got the uh, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, which I've never pulled in Ghost Rare, so I'm hoping today would be the first time. This this box was purchased for me by Seth D. So shout out to Seth. He bought this after seeing the video about the car support and everything like that that we posted last week. Go check it out if you missed it. So shout out to him and many other people who bought boxes that will be open in the future and other things to support me. So I appreciate you guys. Before we actually open it though, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these five cards. We have Exodia the Forbidden One, which is an entire set, including the left arms, the right arms, the left legs, right legs. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card from Galactic Overlord. Also, these are, this is a master collection. These are all LOB. So it's a little bit of a mismatch set, but the master collection head looks amazing. All right, let's crack into this booster box. This is a pretty nice box. Let's take a look at it for a second. This has been in my collection for quite a while, actually. I got this quite a while back from a guy who had a bunch of boxes, and weirdly, we pulled a ton of ghost rares from those boxes so maybe we'll get a ghost rare again here we go let's open it up the biggest card in here is the neo galaxy s photon dragon which is a ghost rare there's like a big eye ultimate rare in here night beam is in here one of our best investments there's a couple supers that are actually some money i think the queen dragon de Jin is one of them so that's a super it's about five dollars so hopefully we can pull one of those these are very cool looking packs they have like the purple in pink dragon on them. The Neo Galaxy has Photon Dragon, which we've already mentioned. Pretty amazing looking. We're going to do a little shuffling, you know, because there is some sort of order to them sometimes. Not necessarily order, but usually get like half the foils on one side, half on the other. There's not really a lot of randomness, even though this is Zexel and things can start to get weird around Zexel. So maybe there would be some randomness, but now it's even more random. If it was random before, it's even more random now. All right, Seth, good luck. Let's see what you can get. First edition. Let's get some amazing pulls. Right off the bat, we have Lady of D. Okay, one, two, I think it's for it might be three for the back. We're gonna do three to be safe. No ultra rocks and specials at the very beginning. We have Overlay Eater, Shadow Tail Butter Spy, Phantom Bouncer, Lady of D, Insector Earwig, Hieratic Dragon of Nuit, Nitwit Outwit. Speaking of Nuit, we have Light Ray Greffer and okay. I think I did the pack trick right. So that's uh, three from the back. Seems correct. First one, just a rare. Nothing too crazy there. What else can we get? Can we get a ghost rare today? That would be pretty epic. I don't know what a PSA 10 of that card would go for, but I'm guessing a first dead ghost rare basically any time. You know, if it's remotely old, it's probably going to be pretty expensive because it's hard to grade ghost rares. Hieratic Seal. We got the Xyz Wrath. Overlay Owl. Classic. We have Doom Donuts. Oh, another classic. Zector Firefly. Hieratic Dragon of Asar. Wait. Did I do four from the back that time? I still did it wrong. Even though I've already talked about what to do. So I think I did it wrong. Three from the back, not four. four. It's almost always four on the new packs, but well, CRs are not. But these old ones for a while, not the, the oldest ones, it is four from the back. But then when you get to stuff like Zexel and stuff like that, where they have rares in there, it's, f it's only three, not four. Because four gets you to the rare, but there's a foil after the rare sometimes. We have the Hieratic Seal of Convocation and, oh, our first foil, the Bound Wand, super rare. Very cool. So we got a super pretty cool looking Bound Wand. It's got a little skull on there. Could be part of the Skull Servant family for all I know. All right, next pack, Galactic Overlord. One super has been pulled. Usually in Zexel, you get more foils than like an older one. You get like nine, I was about to say four for some reason, like nine or 10 sometimes, double payback. Well, got, kind of confirm it here, but... Uh, and then some of the ones in like GX or five five D's I should say five D's got wild like the randomness was crazy there. <sighs> okay, falling current like there would be there's some, certain sets in five D's where you get like four foils total and it'd be like okay that's like not even that unusual for that set or you get like twelve it was like completely off the wall. Zexel I feel like they got a little bit more consistent kind of had a strategy down you know like okay we're only gonna get this many cards you're not gonna get a million foils or no foils. Butterfly yoke. We have Magic, we have Butter Spy, we have Dimension Slice, and we're looking for that Xyz. If we see Xyz, we're going to get excited. Because there are a lot of Xyz in here, but the Neo Galaxy has Photon is obviously an Xyz. So it has not only the Ultra Rare and Ghost Rare, but I think it has a Ultra Rare. It's either an Ultra or a Secret. I think it's an Ultra. Yeah, it's definitely an Ultra. I don't remember a Secret Rare printing of that. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's see if Seth can have some good luck. Nomadic Forest, we have Hieratic Dragon of Sue, Hieratic Seal, the Sun Dragon Overlord. Return. 
Mini Guts. Lady of D. Watch out for the Lady of D. And Zector Earwig. Hammer Shark. Oh, and a Hyrdic Dragon of Suttick. All right, we've got an Ultra Rare. That is not an Xyz, but that's still a pretty cool looking card. The foil on this is interesting. There's not much layering to it. There is, I guess, the claws are popping out, but the coolest foil is the ones where it has like the layering, you know? It's like shining in different spots and not in others or shining more in certain places. That one, I wasn't feeling it as much. So it, it just depends on like, I don't know if the whole set's like that might just be that card, but it's interesting to look at, especially with like ghost rares. That can be a big difference in terms of if it's a great ghost rare or if it's a crappy ghost rare in terms of how it looks. Camera claws, we got Bootin, the classic Bootin. We got Blade Bouncer, Flame Tigre, Moonlit Papillon. We got Xyz Wrath. Final Insection and an Insector Gauntlet. No Xyz monsters for us just yet. Seth, hopefully you can pull something big. One, two, three, four. No, three, not four, not four. Never the fourth. We have Hieratic Dragon. We have Influence Dragon. Abelzar Darwino. Blade Bouncer. Hieratic Dragon and Wit. Bright Star Dragon. That Wacky Magic. Insector Gaker Cricket. And Falling Current. It's pouring over. That's that's the world right there. The Flat Earth. Flat Earthers out there. That's what happens with the oceans. They just, just go off the edge. Okay, one, two, three. We have Hieratic Dragon of Asset. Insector Gauntlet. Phantom Bouncer. Commander of Swords. Lady of Day. We have Bright Star Dragon. Wattail Dragon. Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit. Okay, we got an Xyz, guys. I don't know, is that an ulti? That might be an ulti. I think it's an ulti. Oh, an Exector Exastag. Okay, ultimate rare. We'll take it. It's not the Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon, but it's an Exector Exastag, which is pretty cool, first edition. I mean, the ultimate rares, a lot of people don't like these. They're like, oh, or at least the old school people are like, I like the old one better. I still like the new ones. I think they look good. I think they both look good. So that is not a huge pull in terms of value, but... It's a very cool card. I don't know. We're probably only getting one ulti. I'm not actually sure. You might get two, but there are also secrets in here as well. So you can get a secret rare. Bouncer Guard. We have Ceiling Ceremony. Hired a Dragon. What we really want, though, is a Ghost Rare. That Wacky Magic. Evil Tile. Dimension Slice. And Overlay Eater. All right. Almost to the halfway point. I think this is pack number 11 of 24 packs. Very fun opening so far, but nothing, like, too insane. Like, we got one ulti, which is pretty good. Light Ray Daedalus. Phantom Bouncer. Mini Guts. Return, Lady of D, Doom Donuts. We got Light Ray Sorcerer and Bouncer Guard. Last pack on the right side. We need a little luck, guys. We need a little luck right here. <sighs> One, two, three. Can we get blessed with something amazing? Influence Dragon, Hieratic Dragon of a set, Overlay Eater, Evil Tile. We have the Wacky Magic. We have Butter Spy, Commander of Swords, Photon Papal Operative. That's a pretty good card, actually. And. Bouncer Guard. All right, so what have we pulled so far? One Ultra, one Super, one Ulti. It's only three foils, so I think the second half might be even more exciting. I'm hoping so, because that wasn't super exciting. We want it to be more exciting for Seth. We want some amazing pulls. We have Bootin, Influence Dragon, Hieratic Seal, the Sun Dragon Overlord, Aquamira Cycle, Hieratic Dragon of Nepthit, Berserk Scales, Mini Guts, Insector Giga Cricket, and Camera Clops. Okay, the camera clops. The clops of cameras. Give us a little bit more luck. Come on. One, two, three. We have Hydrax Seal of the Dragon King, Swallowtail Butter Spy, Gumashara, Evil Tile like a Sucho, Berserk Scales, Overlay Owl, Mini Guts, Hired a Dragon of Teptuin, and Beatron. I forgot this was in here. Beatron. All right. That is also probably not the old, ult, not ulti, ultra we're looking for. For some reason, I always say the opposite. When I want to say the ultimate rare, it's an ultra. And then when we open rarity collection, I always call the ultimate rares ultras. Struggling right now. Let's just say that. We are not doing so hot, but there's still some good pack, good cards and some good packs potentially in here. If we get a ghost rare, it'll all be worth it. Overlay Eater. We have Ceiling Ceremony, Raton, Nomadic Force, Over. Overlay Owl, Insector Earwing, Blade Bouncer, Storm, Ancient Dragon, and Stellar Belt. Still only four foils, though. So still a lot of potential in here. Hoping that we get a lot of foils here at the end. Really turn this thing around, make it awesome. Galactic Overlord, first edition opening. I don't know if I've ever opened a full box. No, I have. We've, we opened two in a box break once. I remember this now. We have Ladybug, Butter Spy. We didn't get the ghost, by the way. Earwig, Blade Bouncer, Storm, Insector Firefly. We got Final Insection. An Influence Dragon. The Influencer Dragon is back. All right, Galactic Overlord. You're being a little stingy right now. I'm not going to lie. You're being a little stingy. I would like for you to turn that around. All we need is one pack, though. One pack can turn this into an amazing opening. One pack can make this an eh opening to an amazing Ghost Rare Pull opening. Doom Donuts. Hey, who knows? Could have an error with two ghosts. Could happen. Hieratic Dragon. 
All right, a dragon of Sue. So much for nine to 10 foils right now. I mean, we have four and not that many packs left. So unless we're about to get really hot here, this is not feeling great in terms of numbers of foils. How about five foils, one being a ghost rare? I'd be down for that. Return, Lady of D, Doom Donuts, Blade Bouncer, Rocket Arrow Express, and the Noble Knights are Tauragus, the super hair. Check out that little, like, ballad they got down there. It's a little long. I would read it, but it, it, it might be all day before I finish it. But that's pretty cool. Got a super. So that's our second super, two ultras, and one ultimate. So two, two, and one. Ladybug, we got Butterspike. We should have a lot more supers than that, I feel like. Like a Sucho, we got Commander, Wattail, Seize Wrath. We got Hierotic Seal of Banishment. And speaking of supers, Evil Tile... El Ganero. So we have another super rare. All right. So we are adding the foils now. We're up to six now. Six foils. We have a total of five packs left. So if we go like three for five here, four for five, we're going to end up with nine to 10 foils. You give the net last two that we just pulled, it'd be like six for seven in. That'd be crazy. Oh, Rux and Special. Sector Ladybug. We have Nimble Manta. Overlay Owl. Doom Donuts. Insector Firefly. Wattail Dragon. Light Ray Sorcerer and Influencer Dragon. Not really an influence, that's influence, but it's just influencing us, okay? G-A-O-V, 12 year old set. Who would have thought, one, two, three, that it would get this old? Who thought, who would have thought we would get this old, guys? I'm talking to all you old people like me. We have Lagasucho, we have Berserk Scales, Overlay Owl, Hieratic Seal. Oh, and the Tardy Orc Secret. Wait, do we have another card? No, we don't. Secret rare tardy orc. This card cannot attack the turn. It is normal summon. It's 2200 attack. It's like the, the ogre guy from, is it Metal Raider season? Giant ogre, giant orc, giant orc. Is it Metal Raiders or is it Magic Ruler? It might be Magic Ruler. He's big, but what's his effect? Is it that he goes to defense? I don't remember, but he's also really big. So the tardy orc, cool retrain, probably not so good in terms of like value. We are up to seven foils though, and we have three packs left. So we're making a comeback on the foil numbers. You know what I would like to make a comeback on? Pulling a ghost rare. How about that? Constellar belt, we have overlay eater, sealing ceremony of Raton, butterfly, papillon, doom donuts, nitwit outwit, giga, gaga, gaga. Ga ga ga, Gardner. There we go. And uh, Insector Gauntlet. Okay, nothing in that one. Two packs left. Bless us with that Ghost Rider last pack magic. Or another ulti would be cool. Double secret box. I mean, something would be awesome. Three. No, just chill out. You're staying there. We have Insector Ladybug. We have Nimble Manta. Reminds me of Mantine. We have Hieratic Seal. Return. Blade Bouncer. Flame Tigre. Moonlit Papillon. Hieratic Seal. And Hammer Bouncer, another super. Okay, so the supers are really showing up here. Hammer Bouncer, that is eight foils in the box. We might just get to nine somehow. I mean, that'd be kind of a miracle, to be honest. Last pack match, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And don't forget to thank Seth in the comments for this awesome opening. We're hoping that we pull a Ghost Rare for him right here in the last pack. One, two, three, here we go. Last pack magic, Galactic Overlord 2012 booster box. Phantom Bouncer, we have Fallen Current. Hieratic Dragon of a set, Commander of Swords, Wattail Dragon, XC's Wrath, Overlay Owl, Photon Papal Operative, and here we go. Final card, Ghost Rare. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, Light Raid Daedalus. Okay, so overall, we got a lot of foils, but we did not get that Ghost Rare. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.